ang atong unang buhaton is atong pangitaon ang first term para atong malista ang first five terms sa sequence. So, kung naan natin first five terms sequence, then pwede na tayo makahimo sa explicit formula. Hi everyone! Welcome na po sa atong video tutorial. Dagan salamat na sa mga viewers na nag-like. Magilabi na sa mga nag-subscribe. Thank you kay ninyo. So atong topic karon is all about arithmetic sequence. But this time, we have the given explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence. And we will find the first five terms and the term named in the problem. So, ang given karon is explicit formula and then atong pangitaon ang nth term. Specifically, ang first five terms ang ipangita o na ay usa nga term nga ipangayo sa problem. So, muna siya ang atong i-discuss karon kung unsa na siya pag pangita. Alright, we have this first example. Our explicit formula is a sub n that is equal to negative 11 plus 7n. Again, we'll find the first five terms and the term name in the problem. And that term is the 34th term in the sequence. That is a sub 34. So, atong unahon is atong pangitaon ang first five terms. So, unsa maning first five terms? We have the a sub 1. We have the a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. So these are the 5 terms nga atong unahon pag pangita. So unsa man pag answer ani? Atong gamiton ang given nga explicit formula. The explicit formula we have a sub n that is equal to negative 11 plus 7n. Unsa man ning n? Ang n mo na siya ang specific nga term nga imong ipangita. So, kung a sub 1, your n is equal to 1. So, ato lang ilisan ang mga n o 1 kung first term ang atong ipangita. Kung second term, ato po siya ilisan o 2. Ang mga ba, ang, ato po siya ilisan o 2 ang n. Kung 3, a same manner gihapon, ato lang ilisan ang value sa n. So, for the a sub 1, the value of our n is 1. So we have a sub 1 that is equal to negative 11 plus 7 times 1 because the value of n is 1. So we'll simplify. We have negative 11 plus 7 times 1 that is 7 and negative 11 plus 7 that is negative 4. So the first term is negative 4. Next, we have a sub 2. a sub 2, we have negative 11 plus 7 times, in this case, our n is equal to 2. So, that is times 2. We have negative 11 plus 7 times 2, that is 14. Negative 11 plus 14, that is positive 3. So, our second term is equal to 3. Next, we have the third term that is negative 11 plus 7 times 3 and we have negative 11 plus 21. Negative 11 plus 21 that is positive, that is positive 10. So next, we have the fourth term, the a sub 4 that is negative 11 plus 7 times 4. That is equal to negative 11 plus 7 times 4 is 28. So this is 28 and that is equal to positive 17. So our fourth term is 17. As you observe sa atong mga answers is na siya pattern. Muna siya karoon ng arithmetic sequence. Unsa man ang yung common difference. That is positive 7. Negative 4 plus 7, that is positive 3. Plus 7, that is 10. Plus 7, pag that is 17. And then, kung mag plus 7 ta, that is positive 24. 
possible ang atong ASO5 must be 24 based sa pattern ni atong na observe. Okay, we'll check. So we have ASO5 that is negative 11 plus 7 times 5. This is negative 11 plus 7 times 5 that is 35. What is 35 minus 11? Or what is negative 11 plus 35? That is 24. So, the fifth term is 24. Then lastly, we have the term named in the problem and that is the 34th term. So, we have a sub 34 that is equal to that is equal to negative 11 plus 7 times that is 7 times 34. What is 7 times 34? 34 times 7. 7 times 4, that is 28. 7 times 3, that is 21. Plus 2, that is 23. That is 238. So this is negative 11 plus 7 times 34, that is 238. And what is negative 11 plus 238? That is equal to 227. So our A sub 34 is 227. Okay, next example. So in this example, we have the given first term and the common difference. And then, ang ipangita is the first five terms and the explicit formula. So muna karoon itong i-discuss kung unsaon pagpangita sa first five terms o sa explicit formula. Sa so, pagpangita sa first five terms, since naa naman tayo first term, ato nang isuwat ang atong first term. So we have 28 and then Pagpangita sa second term, ato lang siya plusan sa atong common difference, which is 10. So, 28 plus 10, that is 38. Then, plus 10 lang yapon. That is 48. Plus 10, that is 58. 68. And so on and so forth. So, these are the five terms in the sequence. So, mula na siyang ipangayo. And then, the explicit formula. So, sama na ito pagkuha sa explicit formula. So, sa previous nga video, ato gi-discuss ang explicit formula. So, kung wala pa mo naka, nakakita sa first uh, sa previous nga video, ang link na uh, akong gibutang sa description box na uh, sa ubos. So, para ato makuha ang explicit formula, dapat makahibaw ta sa general formula sa arithmetic sequence. So, unsa man to ang general formula sa arithmetic sequence? We have this formula a sub n that is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So, ang explicit formula, the only unknown is n. So, ang unknown lang ato sa explicit formula is n. Wala na nga ito unknown nga a sub 1 o common difference. So, since nakahibaw man ta sa value sa a sub 1 o sa value sa common difference, ato lang siya i-substitute sa general formula. So, what will happen? You have a sub n that is equal to what is our a sub 1? a sub 1 is given that is 28. So, that is 28 plus n minus 1. So, ang n magpabilin siya nga unknown. And then, we have the common difference that is 10. So, we have 10. Then, simplify. We have a sub n that is equal to 28 plus. So, ato siya i-multiply kada term. So, 10 times n that is 10n. Then, 10 times negative 1 that is negative 10. Then, simplify further. You have a sub n that is equal to Atong unahon ang na-i variable that is 10 n and then you have 28 minus 
10 that is plus 18 so this is now our explicit formula we have a sub n that is equal to 10 n plus 18 so more na siyang ipangayo sa problem given ang first term o ang common difference ato nakuha ang first five terms and then ato po nakuha ang explicit formula So, ang given is the 21st term in a sequence that is 125 and the common difference is 6. And, ang atong buhaton is ato ilista ang first 5 terms and then ang explicit formula. So, para makahibaw ta sa first 5 terms, dapat atong masabtan kung kinsa ang first term. Ay kung masabta na ito kung unsa ang first term, then makalista na ta sa first five terms sa sequence. So, ang atong pinakauna nga buhaton is atong pangitaon ang first term. So, unsa man itong gamitin ka ron. Recall ang arithmetic sequence formula. So, we have a sub n that is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Mo ni karon tong gamiton pag pangita sa first term. So kay given man ang a sub 21. So at isuot nya ri a sub 21. And then our unknown is a sub 1. So this will remain unknown ang a sub 1 plus ang atong n is in this case our n is 21. So this is 21 minus 1. And the D is given that is 6. Then, ang A sub 21 kay given man siya, ato lang siya ilisan of 125. So this is 125 is equal to A sub 1 plus 21 minus 1 that is 20. Then we have 6. So we have 125 that is equal to a sub 1 plus 6 times 20 that is 120. Then atong i-switch ang equation, we have a sub 1 plus 120 that is equal to 125. And solve for a sub 1, so we have a sub 1 that is equal to 125 transpose na to ang positive 120 mahimo siya nga negative 120 so we have a sub 1 that is equal to 5 so ang atong a sub 1 is equal to 5 this time makalista na ta sa first 5 terms kay naa naman tay a sub 1 so our a sub 1 is 5 our common difference is 6 so, we have 5 plus 6, that is 11. Plus 6, 17, 23, 29, and so on and so forth. So, these are the first 5 terms in the sequence. That is 5, 11, 17, 23, 29. And, and then, karon ang ato na po buhaton is, atong pangitaon ang iyang explicit formula. So recall, sa atong, pag, atong pagpangita sa explicit formula, pinahanglan niya kahibaw ta sa general formula. So we will use this formula. We have a sub n that is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. And in that case, kahibaw na ta sa a sub 1, kahibaw na po ta sa d, the only unknown is n. So for the explicit formula, we have a sub n, that is equal to a sub 1. Our a sub 1 is 5. So that is 5 plus n minus 1. And the common difference is 6. So that is 6. So we have a sub n that is equal to 5 plus 6 times n that is 6n. 6 times 1 that is negative 6. So we have 
a sub n is equal to atong unahon ang naay variable so we have 6 n then 5 minus 6 that is negative 1 so our explicit formula is a sub n that is equal to 6 n minus 1 Ato i-check ang a sub 21 kung equal ba siya ni 125 using the explicit formula. So we have a sub 21 that is equal to 6n that is 6 times 21 minus 1. So we have 6 times 21 that is 126 minus 1. So our a sub 21 is equal to 125 and that is correct that is 125 ang a sub 21 so yun na lang ang pagpangita sa first five terms o sa explicit formula kung ang given is an arbitrary term in a sequence o ang common difference so una ang ang atong unang buhaton is atong pangitaon ang first term para atong malista ang first five terms sa sequence. So, kung naan natin first five terms sequence, then pwede na tayo makahimo sa explicit formula. Kick. Shake it, baby.